ديني فدعيني أما ودعيني لتبكي دموعك يا أمي عن ضربي لا لن تثنيني أما مطري ويريكم آياته فأي آيات الله تنكرون From any point in the world, the direction facing the Kaaba is called Qibla and Muslims are expected to face Kaaba while performing Salah. For most of the people who don't know the wisdom behind the Holy Kaaba, it seems like Muslims are worshipping this cubic black house. That's why many of them ask the question, why a Muslim should prostrate towards a rocky house like the Hindus who are worshipping idols? Now what is the difference between Islam and other religions in this regard? In Islam, there is a rule that if someone does not know the direction of Qibla or he has no possibilities to verify it, then he can pray to any direction he thinks is correct. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, <laughs> From this verse we can understand that the meaning of prostrating towards Kaaba is only to be united. Otherwise, everywhere is belonging to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No Muslim ever worships the Kaaba when you offer Salah. Kaaba is the Qibla. It is a direction. We Muslims, we believe in unity. Now when we offer Salah, suppose you want to offer Salah here. Some will say let's face north, some will say south, some will say east, some will say west. For unity, Allah says in the Quran Surah Baqarah, that wherever you are face towards the Kaaba. So Kaaba is the Qibla, it is the direction. So we are facing in that direction, but no one worships the Kaaba. Furthermore, if yet you have doubts, if you read the Hadith, that's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, poem number two, in the book of Hajj, chapter 56, Hadith number 675, Hadith may Allah be pleased with him, near the second Caliph of Islam, second Khalifa. He said that this black stone Pointing at Hajj Aswat. Black stone. It can neither benefit me, it can neither harm me. Just because my Prophet kissed it, I'm kissing it. This statement that this black stone can neither harm anyone nor benefit anyone is sufficient to prove that the Muslims don't worship the Kaaba. Furthermore, at the time of the Prophet, there were Sahabas, there were companions of the Prophet who stood on the Kaaba and gave the Azan. No idol worshipper will ever stand on the Kaaba and give the Azan. Proving that no Muslim ever worship the Kaaba, it's only the Qibla, it's a direction. Not only Salah towards the Kaaba, rather the circumambulation is also a sign of unity. If you look to the creation from the tiny world of quantum to the huge celestial bodies in the universe, from the very atom to the biggest stars and planets, they are all rotating and circumambulating around a certain axis in a counterclockwise direction. And this is exactly what the Muslims are doing around the Kaaba. So in Islam, it's an act of worship. It means in nature everything is worshipping the Almighty Creator, but not the body which is in the center of the circumambulation. This represents the unity in the whole creation. Beside the logical fact, there is a scientific reasoning about the Kaaba. When a person puts his head on the ground towards the Kaaba, the harmful charges would be released out of his body in a perfect manner, and it causes the body to balance its energy system. To know how it works, first you should know about the concept of the golden ratio. The golden ratio is a proportion of a longer distance to a shorter one which is equal to phi constant, 1.618. 
This ratio is also called the divine proportion because the Almighty Creator has used the very same proportion in a great number of events. The golden mean in itself is an evidence of creation. If we apply this ratio on Earth, we will find out that the golden point of the globe is the city of Mecca, whereas the golden point of Mecca is Holy Kaaba. So because it's the golden point of the globe, it is the strongest energetic field on Earth. <laughs> ان هم لما طلعوا في الفضاء وصوروا فلقوا الارض كرة معلقة ومظلمة ولذلك حتى الراجل قال ايه اجدها كرة مظلمة معلقة من الذي علقها هو يريد ان هو ارمسترونج وكان كأنه يريد ان يقول بلسان الحال لا بلسان المقال الله الذي علقها ووجدوا فيها شعاع يخرج من الارض من الارض كتبوه في الشبكة العنكبوتية في الإنترنت وخلوه على مدى 21 يوم ثم أخفوه أخفوه لماذا؟ يعني الأمور تتبع يعني مقاصدها مقاصدها يعني يعني إخفاؤه دعنا نقول أنه له دلالة مثلا له دلالة كبيرة جدا لسبب لأن هذا الـ 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 البيت العتيق يعني هم لما جم ولقوا فيها شعاع لما لقوا هذا الشعاع ابتدوا يركزوا الصورة فوجدوا انه خارج من مكة وبالتركيز وجدوا انه خارج من الكعبة For understanding how the golden mean provides an energetic field you can take the example of the galaxies or plants which emits the energy from the center point to the outer edges just like a nuclear which balances the energy system with the electrons which are rotating around it It means they are taking the negative energies and giving the positive energies for a balancing purpose. وبالتالي عندما تطوف أنت تشحن معلش سبحان الله أيها هذه حقيقة. Now the investigations show that every day our body collects electromagnetic charges from its surrounding, which are harmful for us, and these charges concentrate to the forehead, meaning the frontal lobe of the brain, which causes depression, headache. laziness, mental pressure, and even more dangerous problems. This forehead part of the brain is known as the frontal chakra throughout which the body takes positive and negative energy. It is observed that these harmful charges can be released by putting our head down on the ground. But for a better result, we should put the frontal chakra of our body in a direction towards the strongest energetic field of the earth, meaning the Kaaba. Dr. Andrew Newsberg studied the brainwave activity during the prayer. He found some direct impact on several brain locations. The benefits of prayer are incredible. Regular daily prayer helped the frontal lobe from shrinking with age. 
which is the part of the brain that regulates our speaking, reading and memory. Therefore, this helps to prevent memory loss in old ages. A perfect form of meditation which brings us to a state of tranquility. هناك بحث أن صخور مكة البازلتية السوداء هي أقدم الصخور الموجودة في العالم. هذا كلام حقيقي. أقدم الصخور. أي هذا أثبت علميا. أثبت علميا وبحث منشور وليس. أخذ يعني صخور بازلتية من مكة. بازلتية من مكة وشافوا المناطق اللي بتكون هنا. الأمر إنه المتحف البريطاني فيه ثلاث شرائح من الحجر الأسود. وقالوا هذا الحجر ليس من صخور المجموعة الشمسية. The latitude of the coordinates of Kaaba is 21 degrees and 25 minutes. The first verse that describes Kaaba is the verse 225. Could this mathematic harmony be a simple coincidence? The possibility of numbers depicted in the Quran with order number 114 rising until verse 286 which described the Kaaba for the first time as a chance of one in 100,000 for them to appear next to each other. Surah 2, verse 125. The part with the coordinates after the comma can be described in the form of minutes as well as in ratios of percentages. In order to handle the upcoming objections, when we look at the coordinates of Kaaba by changing them to percentage ratios, we come across the following verse. Surah 2, verse 142. Hence, no matter how we look at it, there is a sign in the verses that point to Kaaba, and this could only be possible with the wisdom of God. Although there are scientific facts behind every command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but the Muslims should obey them without any reasoning. Because there is always a wisdom behind any order of the Creator that people cannot easily unlock the secret. But for us it is important to seek the satisfaction of our Creator.